All right. We're going to do some recall games with Remy. It's about half of our breakfast I got in here. And then I have hot dogs for when we get in the grass work. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Ready, come. <laughs> hey, good girl. Good job. It's one out. Get it. Remy, come. One behind. One behind. I want her all the way behind me. One, two, three, four, five. Ready? Get it. Remy, come. Yeah, good girl. That'll get faster. I might not be using the word yet, but it'll get faster. Ready? Get it. Remy, come. <laughs> that was too soon. Yeah, good girl. How many days have we done this? I think that's something I gotta watch too. The, the, although the games, we like them being aroused. Good. Okay. Remy, come. Very nice. Good job. Ready? Get it. Remy, set. Hand target. The word, the hand target. Good, good, good. Mark and reward. Ready? Get it. Go oh, a little bit far. Good, 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 good. Ready? Get it. <laughs> Remy, side. <laughs> Ready? Get it. Remy, side. Good girl, good, good, good. Right? Ready? Get it. Ready, fight. Two rewards. Now I'm going to lure the sit. Good. I only mark when I get the sit because eventually this is going to be a stagnant or stationary position. Get it. Remy, front. And I don't initially care if she backs up into it. That's okay. That can be fixed if we want to fix it later. Uh, what else? I thought of something else, but I forgot already. Ready? Get it. Ready, middle. Good. Ready? Get it. Ready, middle. Very nice, good girl. Ready, get it. Ready, middle. Good job. Ready, get it. I want to do stationary heels. On these, I just lure. Good. I don't know why, but that's what I do. Ready, get it. That's a little bitty one. <laughs> right there. Remy, heel. And I want to sit in it. 
Good. Ready? Get it. Oh. Straight up in there. <laughs> Ready, hit it. Good. Ah. I'm supposed to be getting the sit. Good. One more time. Get it. Ready, hit it. Good. Now we're going to do moving heels. Ready? Get it. Ready, heel. I forgot I wasn't going to push that because we're doing them good on the grass right now and transferring onto the concrete sometimes is hard. Kind of depends on the dog. We've had a hard time on the bed and I think I tried to do some straight on the concrete or with the bed turned upside down right on the concrete. That was slightly better, but when I got on the grass, it was really good. I forgot that I was not supposed to do that with her. But hey, still make a big deal out of it. So with the games, I try to do three of everything, right? Three comes, three sides, three fronts, three middles, then three stationary heels, and then a uh, walking heel. When I do the moving heel, I wait. When she gets here, I don't immediately reward. I reward once we've had a step. Some little spins and stuff. Yes, very nice. Yes, good. Oh, good. That's gonna be easy, right? It's easy when they're really when they are food made it food food motivated and they really do follow the food. Let's try to, this is one thing I don't do threes of for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm doing a lot of uh, rewarding in heel when we're turning. I don't do a lot of sending them away come to a moving heel. I don't know why I don't do that. Ready? Get it. Ready, heel. Remember, food is prey drive. So if I was to give her food right there, I'm keeping her in the mindset of I gotta get that squirrel. Good. Good. Squirrel. 
Squirrels on the ground. Correct and back up. Correct and back up. Good. So we probably got 20 feet down. Look, and I had to move the collar up. Look, even this collar is too small. That's all the way and there's no pressure at all. Right? So let's see if we can get a sit, hand motion, pressure. Bust. Now break the focus. So, I kind of forgot that with her, a, uh, a negative reinforcement, least pressure sit, really helps her. And it might be because, also because the squirrel ain't there anymore. <laughs> but sometimes the movements, look, the movement and getting them to follow you, I think is better than following the food. Um, but sometimes even the movement is too much. It keeps them... Yeah, 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 yeah. So sometimes you just have to slow it down. Ready? Come on. Look, man, if that would if that would happen with uh, both of the fosters, uh. One, I think it's a little older, like probably my age. I'm old, I just don't look it. And I don't mean anything by that about the woman. It's just, I feel like she, she looks like she's in her 50s. And the other one is thin, right? This strong dog, if a woman is just trying to hold on while that dog is running, there's no way. So this is what you gotta do. When that dog is going, you have to go sideways. You have to break that forward thing, right? So you saw when she was going that way, I'm strong enough that I can correct and back up. For a woman, a woman needs to do this. She's running that way, a woman needs to go like this. Your body is way stronger than your arms are, right? And so if this strong, powerful dog is going that way, that's almost too much for me, okay? Um, you need to break the forward momentum and you do that by going sideways, right? You use your body for strength and you go sideways to break that forward momentum. That's uh, the way a woman can handle a dog like this is by using leverage, okay? If this dog was on a harness, no chance, no chance in the world because the harness gives them more power. When you get stuff like padded collars, harnesses, all that stuff is for comfort. When you get, when you go for comfort, you lose control. Just like in the real world, if you go buy something at a convenience store, like say you go to 7-Eleven to buy something, you're gonna pay twice the prices at the grocery store. You're paying for the convenience. So with a dog, you're paying for convenience by, or you're paying for comfort by giving up control. That makes sense? So again, she's flying that way. What you do on your leash is you hold on to that leash and you go sideways, right? And then start going back. First, you have to break the forward momentum and then you start going at an angle. So that way the dog has to go at an angle away. Now, if the squirrel's over there, you obviously don't wanna go that way. You wanna go this way. You wanna go at an angle away from whatever they're trying to chase. This is not something that's gonna go away in probably two weeks unless we were to eat colors at which in two weeks you shouldn't be doing that in the first place unless it's right so look right there look i use no arm strength right there right and then you get to a point 
where even if she's trying to pay attention, you can go sit, try your hand motion, it's not gonna work, you go to pressure. It's light pressure right here. You don't add anymore, you can touch her on the butt, don't push. As she sits, the pressure comes off. She's focusing, we need to get out of here, right? This way. Right? Make sense? Uh, what else? Um, so the other thing, normally for like leash work, if I needed, if I needed the people to have more help with just leash work, um, depending on how they do handling on this, I would go do a slip lead first. In other words, we might need to center with the slip lead for these ladies. And then I would go to, if a slip lead didn't work within a week, I would go to a prong collar. The problem with prong collars is sometimes that adds to the desire to go get it if you don't use it right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Like if you just try to do your movement, that's not going to help you. You have to correct and back up, correct and back up. Some people just try to correct. You can get to that point, but it doesn't start off that way. Uh, and so let me throw this out there. There's nothing wrong with a damn tool if it helps somebody keep a dog in a home. I don't give a, I don't care what the tool is. I don't care what anybody says. All these people that are scientists, they're not actually scientists. They're science deniers because we have proof that dogs are good on these tools, right? We have. We have physical proof, years and years and years of proof. Yes, there are people that abuse them and don't use them right, but they are few and far between. Regardless of what the lefties try to tell you, because they're all liars. So, oh, what I've noticed with, with correcting that is, I said something in a post the other day about what I've seen is is they their intensity and desire to go at the thing is a lot less i have noticed that where they normally wouldn't look at that area they do look there but at least they're staying with me right so i have cats in the apartments i've had dogs that want to go after the cats i correct back up correct back up correct back up once we go through there now are they looking because the corrections made them want to look at that spot or just because they remember that's where the cat was who knows they can't tell us what I do know is they have then been like, they're looking and might pick up pace just a little, but there's no more chase. Anyways, we need to play and go, holy cow, that's 20 minutes. Oh, cause we got into that. All right.